At Ellis Brigham, we take product testing really seriously. It forms a crucial part of our range selection. And today, we're out here at the Ski Industries of Great Britain Ski Test in Kutai, Austria. This is the last part of our range selecting. It's where we're gonna decide exactly what skis and boots we stock in store. What I wanna do now is pass you over to the brands so they can tell you about the key features of this ski, who it's designed for, and what it's gonna do. It's a uh, intermediate to advanced ski designed for someone who spends probably most of their time on piste, um, but might want to on some slightly more interesting or choppy snow days, be able to go slightly off to the side. So on a ski like this, we've got um, inspired by the wider Santorana's tip, which allows you to have a little bit more playfulness in more interesting snow, but from the midfoot back, it's a lot more like a piece ski, so it's nice and sharp and gives you the control you need on, on stiffer terrain. It's got the same beach poplar core we use in a lot of other things and a little bit of metal as well just to keep it stable. But basically it's for a skier who's probably intermediate to advanced and spends most of the time on piece but isn't afraid just to try a little bit off the side. So we're out in Teen in France. This is the Ellis Brigham Ski Test. And this is the final part of our testing program. This is when we invite colleagues from all the shops to come out and join us, try the skis that we've ranged for next year, validating our choices, but also make sure that they've skied them, they know exactly what those skis do, and they can give you the right information when you come into the store. So here's what it's all about. So this is the Santa Ana 84, um, a women's all mountain ski. Skied it yesterday, we had some lovely conditions at the top of the mountain, some fresh powder, a couple of inches over some hard, um, hard underfoot. It was really lovely and floaty, it really made me feel confident with my powder skiing again because it was just so easy to turn in the powder and kept you floating along. Um, on the wetter stuff, you had to put a little bit of work into it, but it was really heavy wet snow, so it was going to be a tough go. But it was lots of fun and it made me enjoy my run.